Here we have a video of a 08 Dodge Ram 1500 Hemi. We'll go take it on a quick test drive, try to point out any issues with the truck, if there are any, and then we'll uh, do a quick walk around, kind of point out any kind of cosmetic issues and all that fun stuff. Look at my seat belt in. It's a little warm in here. AC, it's blowing a little cold right now. We'll give it a second. It should cool down a little bit more here in just a moment. Has 87,664 miles. The, uh, this little tool up here seems to be working, which I see a lot in these Dodges that they usually don't work. Put the windows down. AC is blowing nice and cold. It has heated seats in here. Go ahead and put our blinker on, test this little bump here. No squeaks in the suspension. It's a good sign. Truck is quiet. It doesn't have any kind of aftermarket exhaust or anything like that. This truck, I believe, is completely stock. It's a one owner. Everything seems to be driving nicely. Let's go ahead and put this window up. We'll keep an eye on the gauges, make sure nothing's overheating. Shifting nice and smooth. Everything's looking good. Temperatures staying cool. All pressure looks good. Could do with a little bit of fuel. Battery looks good. RPMs look good. AC feels good. Let's get over here in this medium here and check out these brakes real quick. There is a little bit of vibration coming from the rear brakes. Uh, we do have the mechanic replacing the brakes and the rotors on the rear today, so those will be brand new. Throttles, responsive, no kind of delay, shifting nice and smooth. There's a little chip in this front windshield here, very small. ahead and get back to the dealership here and we'll do a walk around the truck steering straight no kind of pulling in the steering wheel it's nice and firm no play in it Yeah, so the only thing I'm noticing while I was driving this vehicle is the vibration coming from the back, which we are replacing the brakes and the rotors. That is supposed to be the cause issue. Like I said, those will be replaced. 
I actually ha had to snag this truck from the mechanic before he started on it to record this video. here we'll do a quick walk around alrighty let's get out here let's check this radio out make sure it's working first play radio works all right Door panel looks like it's in pretty nice shape. There's a few little tears as posted in the pictures. No cracks in the dash. Again, there's this little tear here. The electric and the driver's seat's working. All the windows go down. Rear left window switch works. No tears in the back seats. Door panel looks good. Again, the door panel looks good on this side. Window works. Doesn't seem to be any kind of tears in the passenger seat. Got the owner's manual here. Let's do a walk around on the outside and then we'll check out the engine bay. So it's got some little chips here in the front bumper just from regular road wear. Nothing too crazy. There's a little bit of paint peel here. few scuffs on the hood, they could probably be buffed out. Tires look in pretty good shape, has plenty of tread life left. Does have a tiny little dent here, it's, it's not super noticeable. Again, tires look good, tread looks pretty good there. Check out the other side. There's a little bit of a ding here in this bumper here, and it looks like it's slightly raised just a little bit on this side, but not awfully. Very, very slightly. Check out the rooftop. A few little scuffs and scratches on the rooftop. Nothing major. It's another little ding right here. See if we can kind of get it on the. There you go. Uh, a couple little scuffs again, they could probably be buffed out here also. Give me one second guys, I just gotta answer this phone call real quick. Sorry about that guys. Ooh, it's hot today.
go ahead and check out this engine bay here and then we'll get on to the undercarriage of the vehicle. As you can tell, the truck's pretty quiet. Doesn't have any kind of aftermarket exhaust or exhaust leak or anything like that. Tire and tread on the vehicle looks good all the way around. I'm not seeing any kind of dry rot in. The tread looks like it has plenty of life left on it. Appears to be a spare tire underneath also. Alrighty guys, that's the video. Thank you all for watching.